Table arrays are a powerful way to organize and analyze your data. They provide features like sorting, filtering, and easy referencing. We can easily transform our data into a visually appealing and interactive table. Hello there, this is Faria Tulvim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA related answers. You can map with a single table if the data is from individual tables and that are linked and related between them. It is useful to use HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP table array if the tables are correlated with each other. Here we will discuss three types of dataset using Excel 365. You can use other available Excel versions as well. VLOOKUP function is a lookup function that looks for a particular data based on columns. From this data set, we will look for the sales value of 2020 of the salesperson named lookup. In cell D14, let's try a formula. From this formula, we can see that for B14 is the criteria that we want to look up for. And we want to look up in the table array, which is B5 to D11, which is this cell range. And 2 is the column number, which is the second column or the column of 2020. And 0 is for exact match. So we get the sales value of 2020 for Luca is $34,000. $543 according to our data set as well. In this example, we will add names for the table arrays to use within the syntax of the VLOOKUP function. Before using the formula, giving names for the table can make the syntax look small and easier to understand. Now, for this table, let's name it using the name box beside the formula bar. Name this table underscore one note that we cannot use space for naming a cell range for that we have used underscore now for this table let's name it table two now the quantity values in cell c12 to c14 will be from the table one let's use the lookup function here Let's break down the formula for you. Here, B12 is our criteria, lookup, which we have to look from table 1. And the value that we want is the quantity, which is the second column of the table. And 0 is for exact match. Now, for range, we need table 2. Let's look at the formula first. For range, the formula we have used is C12 is the quantity that we previously counted and this value will be looked up in table 2, which means in this 10 cells. From here, the output that we need here is the second column, which is bonus and it will be in fraction format and 1 is for partial match. Now. If we want to count the total bonus this salesperson is getting, we need to just multiply C12 asterisk D12. Enter. Now let's use fill handle for each of the columns. There we go. Using this example, we get the total bonus for this corresponding salespersons. The task is no longer difficult, right? Here we will use VLOOKUP and INDIRECT function. Here are two datasets for sales information of March and April. Let's name the tables according to their month names. Let's name it March and select the name April for this table. Enter. Now we will look up the sales value corresponding to these names. So let's try a formula first.
Now, let's break down the formula for you. Here, B12 is the value that we will look up from the table array, which is Luca. Now, indirect 12 will get the value from D12 and match it with the table names of these two. And from the tables, 2 is for the second column, from where we need the output from. And 0 is for exact match. Enter. Now, let's use fill handle to drag the formula till E15. Now, we can see that Robin's March sales is $65,476. Our output is the same. Easy, right? From these three examples, you can clearly understand how to create a table array in Excel. You can practice this problem with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to solve the problem in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.